Hey guys, James here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over why detoxing from video games is one of the worst things that you can do if you want to stop playing forever. Now, for as long as I can remember, ever since I started trying to quit video games, my goal was always to play in moderation. I always wanted to like evaluate my relationship with video games and try to come up with a solution to implementing them into my life in a healthy way. Whether that's a couple of hours here and there, only playing video games after I finish my chores or on the weekend, or something else entirely. And this is generally the mindset of a lot of people that go into doing a gaming detox, which is one of the most popular methods of stopping gaming available. But the problem with the detox is right there in its name. A detox is finite, it has an ending. And for the people like me, and the people like you that know 100% in their hearts that they cannot play video games in moderation, that they know that video games have no part whatsoever in their life, why on earth should our focus be on trying to moderate them in the future? Instead of trying to figure out our relationship with video games and turn them into something healthy, isn't it better to just truly break free of video games altogether and live an incredible life without them? Well, that's what I'm going to be exploring in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Firstly, let's get into some of the reasons why detoxing is so dangerous. You might think that by taking some time off video games, whether it's permanently or not permanently, then you're allowing your brain to take a break. You're resetting the way you feel about video games. But let's say you're starting to quit gaming and you give yourself three months, 90 days to stop. But your brain, knowing that it's addicted to video games and it will do anything it can to get its hands back on, back on the game, back to playing again, it knows subconsciously that all it has to do is make it through these 90 days before it can play again. It knows that that reward is waiting for it, so it's going to do whatever it can to make you feel like you're in control. Throughout these 90 days, you'll be hit with cravings about like, should I go back to playing video games? What if I just play single player games? What if I can moderate it by just playing with friends? Like all these different excuses come into our heads and you're generally pretty easily able to shut them down. And by the end of the three months, you become more confident in your abilities to moderate video games. So it doesn't feel like a problem for you. You think that you can just go back to playing whenever you want and that's it, you're completely fine, you're fixed, your gaming addiction is cured. But that's not what happens. Generally, when people go back to video games, it begins a slippery slope. It starts a cycle where initially you're playing video games here and there, maybe it's a couple of hours on one night and then a couple of hours a few days later, or you get all your chores done, you're still productive and you play video games as a reward on the weekend. But over time, you start, you start wanting to play a little bit more and a little bit more. So now it's a few hours on the weekend and your afternoon's gone. And now you're missing a deadline for your schoolwork or you're not doing the responsibilities that you have as a father or a partner. And this results in you feeling worse about yourself. So you start missing these deadlines, these responsibilities, and you start thinking that you're the problem. And because you're not used to being able to deal with stress, because of your life spent playing video games, rewards come easily to you. You're not used to having to fight through something and actually put up a challenge. Instead of pressing a few buttons, you've actually got to deal with the stress, the emotion, the hardship of suffering. And we're not designed to do that. Suffering isn't in our nature. Our brain wants to take the easiest route out of whatever it can. And so if that means that you have to go back to playing video games to get into that comfort zone, to get back into that world of escapism, so you can experience some comfort, some joy, just a little bit, then that's what your brain is going to get you to do. And so that's when the cycle begins. You start missing your responsibilities, you feel worse. So to escape those feelings, you play video games. It's the only way you know how to deal with them. And as a result, you play more, you miss more things, you start feeling worse, and you think Gaming is the way to cure that. Your brain is convinced that because you're addicted to video games, it thinks that video games are the only way to feel better again. But we know that isn't the case. 
the more we play video games, the less we enjoy them. They, they no longer give us that sense of satisfaction we once had, that sense of fulfillment. And while you might get some temporary joy in the moment, perhaps from playing with friends, over time you start becoming numbed to the feeling of playing. It's why so many people sit there scrolling through their Steam libraries, hoping that some game jumps out to them, that it speaks to them in some way or another, and allows them to feel something. And we know this deep down, the only way that we can break that cycle is to stop playing video games. And maybe we hit rock bottom and we get this surge of motivation again in a few months time. We've just been through hell, we've, we've reached our lowest point and now we're ready to quit gaming again. We see it as the problem. Only we don't know how to quit. All we know how to do is take 90 days off or take a few months off or try to moderate it. We don't know how to be truly free of video games. And a couple of months later or however long you last in your detox, you're back in the same old cycle. And after countless times of trying to do this myself, I resided myself to the fact that I was just never meant to be free of gaming. I was letting my addictive personality get in the way of things and allowing my poor discipline, my laziness, my lack of motivation and clarity and purpose and energy. I was using that as an excuse as to why I couldn't moderate my gaming. But in reality, it's not your fault. If you've struggled with moderating in the past or you struggle to stay away from gaming, it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. You're addicted to video games, not because of your personality, but because video games are addictive and that's it. There's nothing else to it. And once you realize this, and once you start looking at the benefits that gaming brings into your life, which are zero, and you start looking at the negatives gaming brings into your life, and you're able to break down video games into what, what it really is and what your addiction really consists of and building up this new incredible life yourself, then you can start becoming truly free of video games. Imagine what it would look like if instead of taking a few months off gaming, you were just done with it. You had no cravings, you had no desire to play, you could watch other people play and not feel the urge to play yourselves. You had the passion and the energy and the motivation to work on yourself, to go to the gym, to build these incredible like hobbies and experiences and <laughs> like learn all these skills. Well, that's exactly what I did. And that's what I want to teach people on the Game Free channel, on the website and the, through my programs and trainings and all this stuff. I want to teach people that there is another way. You don't have to go through endless cycles of relapsing followed by three months of productivity and then three months of depression and constantly thinking that you're the problem. There are better ways of doing it. And if you're looking for some ways to quit gaming, check out the description for some more resources and links to useful things that you can check out. But thanks for watching guys. I've really appreciated the support on the channel recently. It's been huge and it's like, it's really fulfilling having people being genuinely affected in a positive way by what I'm doing because I want people to realize there's a way out. You don't need to subject yourself to the pain of those cycles of gaming and relapsing and detoxing and doing all that stuff. There is a better way. And that way is becoming game free. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried detoxing before? How did it go? And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.